The motoring year was marked with the 2018 Delhi Auto Expo. But even at the end of this year, things are only heating up. Welcome back to Car Deco, where we help you pick the right car right now. Right now, it's time to explore the next and final batch of confirmed car launches for 2018. Datsun Go Facelift and Datsun Go Plus Facelift Datsun launched the Go and Go Plus Facelift in Indonesia in May 2018 and they are expected to arrive in India before Diwali. While mechanically they will remain unchanged, they will sport some distinctive styling changes and additional features. These include new and sharper looking bumpers, larger 14-inch wheels, DRLs, electrically adjustable wing mirrors, a touchscreen infotainment system, independent front seats and a whole lot more. However, what changes will make it to the India spec models remain to be seen. Jeep Compass Trailhawk The Jeep Compass is ready to go a bit more hardcore. The Compass Trailhawk is an off-road focused version of Jeep India's bestseller and features redesigned bumpers, increased ground clearance and a more capable 4x4 setup for more serious off-roading abilities. It will also bring in the optional 9-speed automatic transmission, which we expect will make its way into the regular Compass diesel as well. Mercedes-Benz C-Class Facelift At the premium end of the spectrum, Mercedes-Benz is looking to end the year on a high note. The C-Class is set to receive a facelift in India, and while the new car doesn't look all that different, there are some notable changes. These include a new 1.5-litre turbo petrol engine with mild hybrid tech for the C200, a new 258-horsepower C300 petrol variant and two BS6-compliant diesel engines. The base 2-litre diesel is shared with the current E-Class and Mercedes-Benz will also offer a juicier C300D variant that's good for about 245 PS and 500 Nm of torque. Mercedes-Benz E-Class All-Terrain Yes, the Volvo V90 Cross Country will finally have a direct rival in India. This Butch Estate car made its debut at the 2018 Auto Expo and combines the low-slung stance and driving dynamics of a sedan with the Butch appeal and some off-road capability of an SUV. The E-Class All-Terrain comes powered by the same 2.0-litre diesel engine as the E-Class Long Wheelbase, but can send power to all four wheels when required via the 4MATIC all-wheel drive system. The All-Terrain targets lifestyle luxury car buyers and with it, Mercedes-Benz is aiming to please a new niche. Skoda Karok And we end with Skoda's new baby SUV, the Karok. In January this year, Skoda confirmed plans to launch the Kodiak's little brother either at the end of 2018 or in early 2019. The Karok is based on the same MQB platform as the Kodiak and the Volkswagen Tiguan and is likely to be introduced with a 2-litre diesel engine paired with a 7-speed automatic transmission. At its expected price, the Karok will rival the higher variants of the Jeep Compass, the Hyundai Tucson and the new Honda CR-V. Which one of these launches are you waiting for? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe for more updates from the auto world. Thank you so much for watching.